Glenn Jones and Paul Goodman recover from the time lost throughout the weekend to return to Enniskill in 10th overall, overcoming their dramas from the three days. Raymond Johnson and Richard Bell finish ahead, with third fastest in Group N in the final stage, enough for fourth in Group N and ninth overall. Dickie Curran and Anthony Donnelly cashed in in their third place in Group N, picking up good championship points and take eighth overall behind Sean Gallagher. Sean had the last word. He and Rory Kennedy are fastest in Group N in the final test, but must settle for second in Group N and seventh overall. But staying clear of Sean, Roy White and Greg Shinners defend their Group N lead in the final day, finishing Group N winners and sixth overall. Roy White and Greg Shinners spray the Champagne World Rally Championship style as they take victory in Group N, kicking off their championship campaign. Many congratulations. Well done. You had a good weekend. Yeah, it was a fantastic weekend. Fantastic rally. Fantastic atmosphere. Um, the organisation was brilliant. The stages were brilliant. The, the venue here was fantastic. You know, brilliant. Loads of space down here and the weather was kind to us this weekend. Yeah, weather was super. You know, all during the week and all weekend it's been fantastic. And today with a bit of rain added a bit of spice as well. But absolutely. Any uh, events in your weekend you want to tell us about? No, we had a pretty uneventful weekend. Sean Gallagher pushed us very hard today, so uh, we managed to fan, fend him off anyway, and we were delighted. A good battle and a nice tight driving. Oh yeah, that's the way to have it. It was brilliant, fantastic. Consistency was the word of the day for Morris Gass and Jeffrey Orr. They begin their campaign on the right note, with fifth on the opening round. Eamon went for third in the final test. Damien Morrissey fired out the notes as the duo set fastest in ferry water, but miss out in the top three by 1.4 seconds, which is more than enough for Austin McKeel and Brian Murphy after three days to end the weekend in third place. The Subaru is one digit less than last year's registration. That car took him to victory, but this year his finishing place is also one less as Andrew takes second place. It's about time, must have been the words from Derek McGarty as he crossed the finish line of the final stage after countless attempts in recent years leading the Jim Clark at Ulster rallies and lying second on the circuit last year problems would always stop the Glen Gormley driver but this year he and Chris Patterson turned that around to complete the package that has proved so much promise in the last few years with victory on the 2003 Buy and Sell Circuit of Ireland Rally by 1 minute and 28 seconds, taking the lead in the Irish Tarmac Championship after the opening round. You've had a good weekend? Yes, it's been very good, you know, fortunately for us for a change we've had no problems. The sweet taste of success at last, last year's Northern Ireland Championship and this year's uh, Tarmac Champion? <laughs> We will not just go there yet. Not yet, you think? We'll be, we'll be trying, of course, but a lot of other guys will have different ideas. Can you take us through the weekend? Any spectacular happens for you? Nothing really. On the first day, we, we unfortunately had a, a sort of 25 second spin. Totally my fault. Uh, just not used to the car and handbrake the car in the junction and was in the wrong gear. Just simply didn't get the, the paddle on the lever. Spun the car and lost it with 25 seconds. Apart from that, small break drama yesterday but the the lads fixed it no problem that was it any big plans or any changes for the the, the forthcoming events yeah I, I think i need to go and i feel a, a bit like a bodybuilder at the moment the, the power steering wheel has gone in the car thank you and uh for the last three stages it was very tough for us but we got here anyway and congratulations to everyone for running such a good event by and sell and the circuit of ireland people they've done a super job and thanks to every one of them and well done yourself well done, Dave. Boss McHale, congratulations. You've had a good weekend so far? Yes, not too bad. Uh, we're very happy uh, with this new car. It's first time out in it, and uh, we're delighted to get uh, third overall. And uh, you can see it doing better throughout the year? Yeah, please, God. Yeah, we're away to the uh, Pirelli next weekend, and uh, uh, we hope and get back in for the, to Killarney for the second round of the tarmac. Any tense moments through the weekend? 
Well, there's plenty of tense moments, really, and uh, but uh, overall, uh, we're lucky enough with all the cars back in one piece. And uh, I think for Derek to win the event, um, it's great to see uh, uh, a new name on the Circuit of Ireland Trophy, you know, and we're all very proud of him that. Absolutely, absolutely. All the best for the forthcoming season. We'll talk to you soon. The Gremlins stay away this weekend, giving Derek a much-deserved win. Andrew Nesbitt finishes second after a long run of wins, with Austin McKeel finishing third. Eamon Bowen is a very close fourth, with Morris Gas rounding off the Subaru Top 5. 23 stages later, and the Irish Tarmac Championship is underway in style, with Derek Wingardi leading the way in what promises to be an exciting championship this year.